Hello, and welcome to my first Star Trek Fantasy Face-Off. This face-off will be between Worf and Tuvok. Worf is the son of Moog, and he is a Klingon warrior and an officer in Starfleet. He served as the chief of security aboard the USS Enterprise and as the tactical officer aboard Deep Space Nine. Tuvok is a Vulcan, and he is also an officer in Starfleet. He served as the chief of security aboard the USS Voyager. Today, I'll compare these two characters' combat skills using four different categories. These four categories are physical strength, hand-to-hand -hand combat slash martial arts skills, combat IQ slash intelligence in combat, and skills with weapons. Round 1, Physical Strength Physically, Worf and Tuvok are both very powerful. Worf is a 6'3 Klingon, and Tuvok is a 6'0 Vulcan. Both Klingons and Vulcans are physically stronger than humans, and they are on par with each other. In addition, both Worf and Tuvok exercise on a regular basis, which keeps them in very good shape. However, Klingon anatomy is such that it is almost designed for combat. First, they have redundant organs, which is a huge advantage. In particular, having two hearts and three lungs allows a Klingon to have enhanced stamina in combat. Klingons also have a thick exoskeleton, which is especially built up on their foreheads. Taking all of this into account, I believe that Worf is physically superior to Tuvok. Therefore, Worf wins this category. Round 2. Hand-to-hand -hand combat slash martial arts skills. Both Worf and Tuvok are extremely skilled in this category. Worf was raised as a Klingon warrior, and he has known how to fight since he was a young boy. Tuvok is a hundred years old, and he has learned the martial arts styles of multiple different races. In addition, Worf and Tuvok find themselves in combat quite often, so they both have a lot of experience in numerous combat situations. Therefore, I do not believe either combatant has a clear advantage in this category, so I declare it to be a tie. Round 3. Combat IQ slash Intelligence in Combat This category is about how intelligently each opponent will fight. This includes their level of patience, their control of their emotions, particularly their anger, their use of their surroundings, etc. Both Worf and Tuvok excel in this category, as both of them have a lot of combat experience. But I do see a clear advantage to one combatant, and that is Tuvok. As a Vulcan, Tuvok does not possess any emotions, and his thoughts and actions are driven purely by logic. As a result, Tuvok will often make better tactical decisions than other species as he does not experience anxiety or stress during even the most dangerous circumstances. However, Worf has so much combat experience that he will have little to no anxiety in a fight with Tuvok. In addition, with all of his combat experience, Worf will also make good tactical decisions in a fight with Tuvok. However, I still believe that the advantage in this category goes to Tuvok. Round 4 Skills with weapons. In the 24th century, the most commonly used weapon is a phaser. Both Worf and Tuvok have plenty of experience with this weapon, and a clear advantage is not seen. However, Worf is very familiar with a variety of sword and dagger-like Klingon weapons. Here are a few examples. The Batleth, the Mechleth, and the Mavak. Worf often uses these weapons in battle, and he's become very proficient with them through his combat experience. Worf's proficiency with these weapons can be seen in his fight here against Gowron in Season 7, Episode 22 of Deep Space Nine, titled Tacking into the Wind. As you can see, Worf is able to use a combination of his martial arts skills and his blade in battle, which is very effective. Tuvok, on the other hand, does not have nearly as extensive experience with these kinds of weapons. While Tuvok would most likely be able to adapt to the use of these weapons, I believe that Worf's skills with them give him an advantage. Therefore, I believe that Worf is superior to Tuvok in this category. I believe that the biggest proof of Worf's skills as a warrior is shown in Deep Space Nine in Season 5, Episode 15, titled By Inferno's Light. In this episode, Worf is imprisoned in a Dominion asteroid prison along with Garak, Dr. Bashir, and General Martok. While they are held there, Worf is forced to fight a Jem'Hadar soldier in one-on-one -on -one combat every single day. When Worf defeats a Jem'Hadar soldier, he must fight another soldier the next day, 
and he must continue to fight every day despite the injuries he sustains. He goes on for seven days and defeats seven different Jem'Hadar soldiers, which is an incredible feat, especially considering that the Jem'Hadar are genetically engineered for combat. It is not until the Jem'Hadar first steps into the ring on the eighth day that Worf is finally unable to win. And even then, Worf was intent on fighting to the very end. The Jem'Hadar first eventually yielded, claiming that he could only kill Worf and not truly defeat him because Worf would never give up. In light of this, I do not believe that Tuvok would be able to defeat a warrior with this much determination and endurance. While I believe that Tuvok has an extremely high combat IQ and that he rivals Worf in his martial arts skills, I believe that Worf's experience with a larger variety of weapons and his slightly superior physical strength, combined with his high level of endurance, will allow him to defeat Tuvok in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Therefore, I declare Worf to be the victor. Of course, this is all my opinion. Do you think that Worf would win this fight as I believe? Or do you think that Tuvok would be able to come out on top? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.